first graders. Today we're going to talk about sequencing, which is going to be part of all the strategies we learn about retelling a story. We've already learned that retelling what happens in a story can help us understand the story better. When we retell, we always tell the most important parts of the story. This is called the plot. Now, something important to learn today is that retelling only makes sense when you tell the story in order. This is called sequencing. When we do sequencing or when we retell a story in order, we think about the most important parts of the beginning, the middle, and the end. We have to think about what happens in the beginning, in the middle, and the end in order to properly retell our story. Let's think about the order of these events or the sequence of these events in Lily's purple plastic purse. Let's take a look at some of the events we have here. Well, here's a picture of Lily apologizing to Mr. Slinger and him forgiving her. Lily writes a mean note to Mr. Slinger. Lily gets a nice note from Mr. Slinger and then feels bad about her mean note. Lily gets a new purple plastic purse and Mr. Slinger takes Lily's purse away because she interrupts the class. These are five different important parts of the plot of Lily's purple plastic purse, but right now they're not in order. So I'm going to think about which one comes first and then tell the rest of them in order after that. That will help me understand this story much better. Hmm, which one comes first? Well, I remember very, very, very much in the beginning of the story, Lily gets a new purple plastic purse. Of all those events that I just mentioned, that's the very first thing that happens. Then, Mr. Slinger takes Lily's purple purple plastic purse away because she interrupts the class too many times. Next, Lily gets very mad and she writes a mean note to Mr. Slinger. After that, Mr. Slinger writes Lily a nice note and then she feels really bad about her mean note. Last, at the end of the story, Lily apologizes to Mr. Slinger and he forgives her. I put all of those events in order. I used sequencing to help me. I thought about what happened in the beginning, the middle, and the end. By doing this, I better understand this story and all the characters in it. But what happens if I change the way that I retell the story and put things out of order? Hmm, let's see if this makes sense. First, Mr. Slinger writes a nice note to Lily and Lily feels bad about her mean note. Hmm, I'm already feeling a little confused. Next, Lily gets a new purple plastic purse. Okay. After that, Lily apologizes to Mr. Slinger and he forgives her. Well, that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me happening in the middle of the story. I'm not sure that really happened that way in the book. Let's keep going and see if this makes a lot of sense. Mr. Slinger takes Lily's purse away because she interrupts the class. Well, I don't know if that happened in this part of the story, but last, Lily writes a mean note to Mr. Slinger. Hmm. These events are not told in order. And because they're not in order, if I was telling these events to someone who'd never read this book before, they would probably be really confused and not really understand the characters, the setting, the problem, the solution, or the important things that really happened in this book. Telling the story out of order or out of sequence does not make sense. You always need to make sure to tell the story in order. That's super important. For your assignment today, you're going to think again about Chrysanthemum and A Weekend with Wendell. You'll put the different events from each story in order. There are two different slides for this where you can drag the pictures and put them in order. You can also write the events in order on your own paper if your device does not let you drag the pictures in the slides. If you can't remember everything that happened in each of these books, you can always watch the videos again if you need help remembering the plot. Have fun, first grade!